Hello there and welcome back. In this video we are going to let's see experience the part two of the WinRM module of Python. So what we would like to do now is to utilize the WinRM module to authenticate against the domain join machine and we would like to execute commands. It's uh, the idea behind this is the same as if it was not a domain join machine but uh, different because you need to use a different approach when you code it in Python as it was in the previous video. So let's get to it. What we would like to do is to create a script. So execute remote antlm.py and what we need to do is to import the WinRM module and we need to create this how do I call it prot variable which will come from the winrm dot protocol dot protocol and this is going to take multiple arguments so the first argument is called endpoint and this endpoint is a little bit tricky because you need to specify a URL and uh, if you don't modify anything on your domain join machine the protocol is going to be HTTP if you uh, specify here the known name which is in our case going to be 2019A you need to specify the port which is the 5985 and then the WSMAN endpoint or context route if you will what you need to do is to specify the transport which is going to be anti-lm this allows you to use a domain user for authentication and we would like to have the username as used and we would like to have the password which is going to be start exclamation mark one two three four five and we would like to have the server cert validation ignore because usually this is going to be a self-signed certificate which is going to fail the validation algorithm but if you have a valid self-signed certificate you can let's say skip the ignore step now what we need to do is to open a shell and this is going to be done by the prot.openshell and here comes the trick part we need to specify a command which is going to come from the prot.run shell command and we need to specify a shell against which it will run and then we need to specify a command that is going to run so we will use the ipconfig command as a demonstration now in order to retrieve the output what we need to do is create a triplet of variables output error and status and here what we need to do is to specify the prot get command output and we need to specify the shell and the command for which we are interested in the output and now what we can do is to create a nice f string so we say that errors are coming from the r variable the status is going to come from the status variable and we need to specify the output that is going to come from the out variable and now if everything was done right we are able to run this command so we need to use the python 3.7 because this is where the module is installed which is necessary to use this protocol against the windows machines and now let's specify the execute remote anti lm command now <coughs> it says that it doesn't have the run shell command because 
it is simply called run command now we should try once again and as you can see the errors are empty so it's an empty binary data the status is zero which is the exit code or exit status of the command that we have just executed and this is the output from our command and what we could do is to wrap it around the pretty print module so from pprint import pprint and we would like to pprint with the f string the output of the decoded version of our output now what you can see is that we have a nicer view of whatever was executed what happens if you specify a command that is supposed to fail so let's see how it changes so it should fail hopefully there is no such command on the windows machine now what you can see that our error output contains that it should fail is not recognized as an internal or external command and then the status is one which is the exit code for an unsuccessful command on windows and our output is nothing and basically that's it so uh, this video became kind of short but uh, that was all i wanted to tell you if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more thank you for watching